So atenolol is a very important medication to know. The second you hear that name, you're hearing the OLOL, and I know you're already thinking of beta blockers, right? Beta blockers are very important to know because they come into play with the sympathetic nervous system. And as you understand the sympathetic nervous system and how beta blockers work, you're going to understand a huge gamut of diseases as well as medications. And you're going to understand really a lot about how the body is working. So generic name is atenolol. Trade name is, name is Tinnerman. Indication is hypertension angina prevention of MI. So with these beta blockers, you're understanding that we're talking about the heart. Okay, so what it's really doing is it's blocking the stimulation of beta-1 receptors in the sympathetic nervous system with minimal effect on beta-2 receptors. Now, what does that mean to you? Beta-1 receptors are mostly in the heart and in the blood vessels. Beta-2 receptors are mostly in the lungs. And so as you hear beta-1 receptors, and a good way to remember that is beta-1, you have one heart. Okay, and so beta-1 receptors are going to be mostly in the heart and in the vessels. Beta-2 receptors, you have two lungs. So beta-2 receptors are going to affect the lungs mostly, and they're going to affect that portion of this fight or flight symptom or system. So what it does, it really antagonizes or blocks stimulation of beta-1. Okay, so we think fight or flight. Okay, if when our fight or flight system gets all excited and everything, and it's time to, to fight, it's time to flight... So our heart starts beating fast to try to get us working harder and everything like that. What we're doing when we antagonize that beta-1 is we're not allowing the heart to beat so fast. We're relaxing the vessels. And that is what really is occurring with this uh, tenolol, okay? As we antagonize a beta-1, we're, we're helping with that hypertension. We're helping with that angina. And we're preventing the MI there, okay? So the therapeutic class is anti-anginal or anti-hypertensive. Pharmacologic class is beta blocker, and we've talked about that already. So some nursing considerations. It's, it's contraindicated with CHF. It's contraindicated with pulmonary edema, cardiogenic shock, bradycardia, or heart block. Now, a lot of these beta blockers, these beta-1 uh, blockers, are going to be contraindicated with bradycardia and heart block because as we give these, we're going to kind of slow that heart rate down. And so if our patient already has you know, a heart rate of 45, we don't necessarily want to give a beta blocker if it's going to affect the heart rate. It's also going to be uh, contraindicated with uh, heart block because within our heart blocks, right, we have we have a, a delay in the transmission of our signal, right, in our AV node, and so a lot of these beta blockers are going to work right in that area in the AV node, and so if we're if we if we affect that, we could lead to uh, progressing this heart block even worse. Okay, so we're going to want to monitor our hemodynamic parameters, our heart rate, our blood pressure, and I really want you to be checking your heart rate and blood pressure prior to giving these medications, not like four hours prior, not even necessarily an hour prior, but before, right before you give it. Now working in an ICU, that's pretty easy for me because my patients are a lot of times have uh, art lines and so I have continuous blood pressure monitoring and I also have EKG monitoring so I know exactly what's going on. But if you work on a med surge floor uh, or you work in a doctor's office, I want you to go ahead and check uh, blood pressure, heart rate before giving these medications. You really don't want to give it to a patient and plummet their heart rate Again, it can cause bradycardia, CHF, and pulmonary edema. That's why it's contraindicated in these. It's going to mask symptoms associated with diabetes mellitus. So that's that's one thing associated with beta blockers that can occur is it can actually mask the symptoms of diabetes and uh, hypoglycemia and stuff. So that's one thing to just keep in mind. You're going to want to advise your patients to change positions slowly because beta blockers can lead to orthostatic hypotension, which is as they stand up, their blood pressure really drops, Okay. So you really want to you really want to have them monitor that, and you're going to want to monitor or let the patient know how to check their blood pressure, how to check their pulse rate, and how to do all those things at home, so that as they go home and as they're taking this medication at home, they're able to uh, take care of themselves. This has been another episode of the Med Master Podcast, brought to you by MedMasterCourse.com and NRSNG.com. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN, student nurse mentor, and your biggest fan. If you're ready to demolish nursing pharmacology once and for all, head over to medmastercourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST to save 15% on lifetime membership to MedMaster Course. The MedMaster Course is packed full of 30 plus hours of HD video and audio content with tons and tons of free cheat sheets and downloads. Demolish nursing pharmacology, never guess a med again. Go to medmastercourse.com, coupon code PODCAST. You guys know what time it is now. Go out and do something great. Happy nursing.